People have been looking forward to Stray for a while now. There was heavy marketing for this one. Not that I needed it, if there's anything the internet will always be up for, it's cats. Though, I think it's more the uniqueness of actually playing as one that drew people in. This isn't a small child in a scary world indie game. It's a small cat in a scary world indie game. It's strange this hasn't happened before, really, but there aren't more games where you play as cats and dogs and things. Non-humanoid creatures are a bit of a rarity, I suppose because it limits your level of interaction. Without hands or speech, there's only so much a cat can do compared to a person. This does give Stray a unique style of play, though. More on that in a moment. After being separated from your friends, you find yourself in an underground city, infested with head crabs and populated by robots. You team up with a little drone and set out on a journey to get back to the surface, helping people and doing lots of climbing and puzzles along the way. The city itself has a kind of Chinese cyberpunk thing going on, and I must admit its style and overall visual design is impressive. But what does it feel like to play as a cat? That's what we're here for. We've seen robots before. Well, you look at the world differently, you're no longer looking out for ladders and handles to turn, the world becomes more vertical, you can squeeze through the gaps in railings, knock things over and generally be a pain in the arse. The game has lots of these little interactive moments where you can take a nap or scratch the shit out of a couch. They don't provide anything for gameplay though, just a moment of roleplay. There are puzzles to do, but although much of the game is a linear series of encounters, the bulk of it is the semi-open robot village areas, and here's where I start to have problems. For the first half hour, the game is moving along quite nicely, but things grind to a halt when you have to start doing quests in the slums. Go talk to this person and do the thing they want. Usually collect some item, but to get that you need another item, to get that you need another item, etc, etc. The place is a pain to navigate and requires you to infer something really obtuse in order to progress. Real point and click adventure game logic. What is it with a French, eh? Without a main character that can properly emote, you need to rely on the other characters. And again, I think Stray fails here. The characters are just boring, the way they talk is all the same. Despite the snippets of backstory you get and the clothes they wear, they're simply one note. I couldn't describe any of them in terms of definable character traits. But you might say, this isn't about the robots, it's about being a cat, it's about their story, about being a stray, but it's not really. They clearly had a lot of fun making a game to be played as a cat. The level design is fun as far as that's concerned, but really it's this world and the plight of these robots they want you to connect with, and I didn't really. Even the companion doesn't have much going on outside of the backstory they slowly reveal. There's no humour, there's no drama, everyone's just nice to you. It's a little bland, which is an odd thing to say about a game with such a unique premise. The unique premise is the cat, by the way. A world of robots and a neon totalitarian state are two things you've seen before, despite being mashed together here. I don't want to be hard on Stray because I think I do like it, and I also think the price point is about reasonable for a 5-ish hour story if you try for the collectibles and exhaust all the interactions. It's just I'm not sure I'd ever replay it. Playing as a cat is its one unique selling point and I've done that now. Every other idea has just been kind of recycled from somewhere else. The cat is cute though. Thanks for watching, I upload weekly reviews both long and short for games old and new. Subscribe for more and let me know what you think of Stray in the comments, I do love reading them. Take care meow, peace.